Instead of having a vibrant democracy and a strong middle class, we are moving toward an economic and political situation where a handful of billionaires not only control the economy, but increasingly control our political life. The Koch brothers and other multi-billionaires are pouring hundreds of millions of dollars, that's what they have done for months, into TV ads and into the political process in order to elect candidates who are designed, who are there to represent the wealthy and the powerful. My view is that a democracy is one person, one vote. You get a vote, and you get a vote. Everybody gets a vote. If you're so concerned about outsourcing, why don't you take the clothing line you now have, where you're manufacturing your products in China and in Mexico, bring them back to the United States of America. And if you're so concerned about outsourcing, stop manufacturing your furniture line in Turkey. We can manufacture furniture in the United States of America. You know, I don't often quote Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney and I have very little in common. But he was correct in calling Mr. Trump a fraud and a phony. And that is one example of that. But let's go around the issues. Let's just say you're working in Colorado right now and you're thinking on Tuesday of voting for Mr. Trump and you're making 10, 11 bucks an hour. Well, you can't make it on 10 or 11 bucks an hour. Which candidate running for president is prepared to raise the minimum wage to a living wage? It is not Donald Trump, it is Hillary Clinton. Let's say you're a woman working right here in Colorado Springs. You know that you are doing the same work as the guy in the office is doing, and except, except you're getting paid 79 cents on the dollar compared to what he gets. There is one candidate running for president who believes in pay equity for women. That's Hillary Clinton. Thank all of you. What a wonderful turnout. The election on Tuesday is consequential, not just for the next four years, but for decades to come. You know, whether the issue is women's rights, whether the issue is climate change, whether the issue is making public colleges and universities tuition free, etc., etc. Enormous issues that have got to be dealt with, and the only candidate running for president who can deal effectively with them is Hillary Clinton. Now, now, it turns out there are about a dozen battleground states, and you are one of them. What the polls show is on Monday, Hillary's ahead by two points, and the next day, Trump is ahead by three points. Back and forth it goes. It's going to be a very close election. I happen to believe that nationally, this election will probably end up coming down to a very few electoral votes. Do everything that you can, not only to vote, of course, but to bring out friends. If you bring out two or three friends, you've tripled what you can do beyond your vote. So in the next three days, do everything you can to see that Secretary Clinton wins here in Colorado. And then I hope the day after you will join many of us in fighting for a political revolution that tells the billionaire class that this country belongs to all of us and not the Koch brothers and a handful of other billionaires. So thank you all. I'm really just amazed that so many people came out today. Thank you so much. Let's go forward together. Thank you. 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 Thank you.